Hello everyone. Let's begin. Harmonization with this session 100% going both ways. Wonderful. So let's see if we can look a little closer into the pattern of light and information that we're working with today. Light and energy that we're working with today. Uh, any techniques? No, so something a bit less structural in nature. So let's check out um, deep. So let's check out So two points in space, but they are occurring as a tilting as well. I'm feeling it as a sensation that kind of runs from my temple here, and it tilts and moves downward towards the back of my skull right here. So knowing what I know anatomically, that's our sphenoid bone in this area, and it's moving to about the area of our uh, mastoid process, the, the little lump on the side of the base of your skull here could be representative of something to do with the visual cortex, could be representative of something to do with the gallbladder. Let's see, are either of those things relevant? Yes, so let's try visual cortex. No, let's try gallbladder, yes. So emotions to do with the gallbladder seems to be what's going on. The tilting sensation, psycho-emotional energetics. Again, I would look into in deep with Dr. Richard Bartlett if you're interested in learning more about this method of doing energy work. Uh, so let's check out Emotions in the gallbladder as a priority, yes, so let's think about emotions going on with the gallbladder. Something about uh, depression, no, something about resentment, no, something about forgiveness. So something about forgiveness, uh, something about forgiveness and closure, no, just, just forgiveness. Any other emotion that we need to work with, no, any emotion that we need to incorporate that we're missing. Yes, okay, so there's a vibrational component of something that's missing as well. Uh, something that we're lacking the experience of emotionally, so do we need to know what that is before we proceed further? Yes. So my first thought would be gratitude, but that's not it. Okay, so it's not gratitude. So forgiveness and something that we're missing to do with the gallbladder. Is this an emotion? Yes. So then let's talk about something to do with the opposite of apathy, so perhaps vitality. Okay, so the missing thing that we're experiencing is liveliness, is the energy to feel vital and um, excited about life. Yeah. Apologies for the noise in the background. It wasn't there, and as soon as we started the video, hey, what can you do? Uh, let's check out... So right now, at this moment in time, the emotion, the vibration that we're missing that we need to call in is vitality, yes? The emotion that is trapped within us that we are having difficulty processing has to do with forgiveness, so it's likely surrounding a lack of forgiveness within a subject, yes? Okay. So... Is there more that we need to know? Okay, if I knew what to do with this pattern of light and information, what would I do? Second attention. I'm paying attention to the tilting, and the tilting is changing direction here. It's moving and tilting the opposite way now. And there's a burning sensation in the back of my skull on the left now. pulling something out. Oh. Still need to hold on to this for some reason. This is a lack of forgiveness in the body that we're letting go of, but we need to know more about the information before we can actually let go of the energy. So something that we are lacking forgiveness in, and we can know more about this. This is about uh, so it's something about the self. So not forgiving someone else or something that's happening on the outside, something that's t 
to do with ourselves and, and having difficulty forgiving ourselves for a certain situation. And that lack of forgiving ourselves is leading to a lack of our ability to experience vitality in the body. So let's look into, can we know more about what this is, right? So, uh, emotional, spiritual, something's, something psychic as well. So external influence, no, so self-influence, right? So subconscious influence, us planting things around us is the vision that I'm getting, sort of like I'm surrounded by landmines right now, and there it goes. Walking on eggshells is the phrase that just ran through my ears. Uh, I heard it first over here and then over here, so for some reason right to left, is that relevant? Yes. So right to left, having to do with masculine and feminine energies, no, having to do with time. Yes, okay, so right to left, moving backwards in time typically, yeah, versus left to right, typically moving forwards in time. So something that happened a while ago, but something that happened with ourselves a while ago, wherein we surrounded ourselves with energetic landmines, as it were, where if we were to step on these things, if we were to go into the experience of having an emotion that traumatized us in the past related to what we're experiencing here, related to this lack of vitality, then these things would blow up in our face, creating a psychic attack. But a psychic attack that was prepared by ourselves, preventing us from moving us in a specific direction. And with that experience, then we would, from moving towards the thing that we are wanting to block ourselves from, we would experience a lack of vitality, we would experience exhaustion, we would experience things like apathy, potentially depression. Interesting. So these things are still present, yes, but there's something more that we need to know. Okay, so something more that we need to know in terms of what is the thing that we are lacking forgiveness for, and now the lacking of forgiveness, the inability, the bullheadedness, that is a phrase that's coming in as well. Um, which is like stubbornness, which everyone has some extent of, but it's the it's that which was preventing us from seeing what it was that we actually needed to forgive ourselves for. Uh, so can we learn about what we need to forgive ourselves for? Yes, so let's look, and it has to do with time going backwards. So going backwards, let's say five years, let's say 10 years, let's say 20 years, let's say 30 years, let's say 40 years, let's say 100 years, let's say 1,000 years, okay, let's say... 150 years, let's say 100, and, let's say 200 years, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So 1,000 exactly. That's interesting. But this is ours personally, yes. So past life thing, clearly, something that was happening while we were on planet Earth. Okay, so something that was happening while we were on planet Earth uh, but a thousand years ago, which, shoot, I don't know anything that would be going on at that time, but it wouldn't surprise me if there were many emotional disturbances that were going on, likely many things that we put in front of ourselves as blockades to try to keep ourselves safe. You aren't allowed to, I'm not allowed to experience the emotion of joy in my life because when I get too carried away with experiencing the emotion of joy in my life, then things tend to screw up or I tend to I tend to get other people jealous of me and then they wind up screwing things up in my life and then I wind up accumulating more patterns of witchcraft or psychic attack from others outside of myself so maybe it's just easier for me to set up this preventative measure to say every time I'm experiencing a little bit too much joy I'm gonna knock myself down so that other people don't do it so that I don't have to be exposed to the much more difficult seeming energetic influence of other people bringing me down. I just need to, you know, be okay with the fact that this is my upper limit, right? If you're interested in learning more about upper limits, I would look into the book, The Big Leap. Um, Gary something, I don't remember his last name. It's been a while since I read the book, but for some reason the upper limit problem is coming to mind right now, relevant to what we're experiencing right now. In a past life, we placed an upper limit on ourselves to do with experiencing vitality because something about us experiencing vitality a thousand years ago in the timeline of Earth a thousand years ago made us experience danger, made us feel unsafe. 
And it has something to do with forgiveness, right? Forgiveness, lacking the ability to forgive ourselves, likely because it was something that we were doing from the standpoint of feeling good. You know, like when a child is having a fun time, having a really good time and they're being loud and a little obnoxious and then an adult yells at them and shames them, then who is the person that the child has to forgive eventually in that situation if they become traumatized? They have to forgive themselves. I was just a kid. I was just having fun. I'm allowed to continue having fun. I'm allowed to continue having that same amount of fun. The reason that that person yelled at me had everything to do with them and very little to do with me, right? Forgiveness was needed in that situation and it's likely something very similar here. There was something that we were doing that got too big, too vivacious, too full of life force energy and other people knocked us down and we in the process neglected all those years ago in that different body, in that different time, neglected to forgive ourselves for the situation. It's okay that you be as vibrant and as whole and as expressive of your soul and who you are as possible. That's okay. So with all that said, is there anything more that we need to know? No, wonderful, so we can progress further. Good. So let's check out... Do we need to work with these things individually? Yes, so starting with the pattern of psychic attack in front of us. Okay, so first we need to remove the landmines that we ourselves set up in this past life scenario. So let's talk about harmonizing, let's talk about inverting. Okay, so harmonization. So if I knew how to harmonize this energy, what would I do? Second attention. some off switches here. Good. So this psychic attack in the shape of these energetic landmines, are these still present? No? Wonderful. So then the last piece that's missing is our ability to call in this vitality for ourselves. Is this true? Wonderful. So... Can we create a module for this? Can we create a session for this? Wonderful for experiencing vitality, pulling in vitality, making vitality a natural part of our lives. Can we create a module for this? Good. And if I knew how to install this, what would I do? I'll set that up here. If I knew how to activate this, what would I do? button there. Wonderful. Okay. So we're calling in vitality. Our own individual vitality and how we would express that as individuals. Okay. Is there anything more that we need to know today? Is this session complete? Wonderful. Well, it was lovely seeing you today. I hope that you have a beautiful day, and I will catch you next time.